will present his submissions defending President-elect William Ruto before the seven-judge panel of the Supreme Court. Senior counsel Fred Ngatia has said the Supreme Court is not mandated to announce the presidential result as petitioner and presidential candidate Raila Odinga had suggested. Making a comparison with the presidential petition made in Ghana's Supreme Court in 2020, Ngatia has said the functions of the Supreme Court is to look for substantive truth of elections and to find finality and stability in elections. I go back to Ghana. Ghana considered all the evidence that was adduced and the Ghanaian Supreme Court came to this conclusion that the work of the court in a contest of this kind is to look for a substantive truth. I underline the words substantive truth of the elections. Ngatia has also castigated Odinga's right to boycott an election presided over by IBC chairperson of Fulashe Bukati and suggesting that he would participate in an election presided over by IBC vice chairperson Juliana Cherara, saying that would cause a constitutional crisis. Because the petitioner has repeatedly said he will not participate in an election held by IABC under the chairmanship of Shebukati. In his submission, lawyer Kitwa Kigen has also defended Ruto's win, saying the election was conducted manually and only voter registration and verification was done electronically. Kigen has also condemned the petitioner failed to prove that there was a deficiency of Form 34Cs as they had earlier claimed. Manipulated. One of the locks has kept their attention and it has a date 2017. I know my learned friend Mahat already explained how in the 2017 polling stations were used as part of those possibly the matrix of the locks. On our part we noticed the date 2017 and it picked our interest. When we checked, my lord, we realized that indeed the particulars of those logs or substantial parts of those logs were parts of logs that had been posted by his friend, Professor Makao Mutua, in 2017. And they had just been lifted and purported to be the logs that had been used in 2022. Edwin John Mokora, Look Up TV. You're watching the news on Look Up TV. We take a short break and we'll come back with more.